Hello and welcome to another Dragon Storm Studios video. We're currently looking at a series at the moment which focuses on uh, fan casting for a Magic the Gathering movie or streaming service. So trying to find actors who would fit the roles of either planeswalkers or legendary creatures from the lore of Magic the Gathering. We looked at Teferi uh, being played by Idris Elba last time around. And today, uh, the second one that I've chosen, I'm looking for, for more suggestions as well from people. If you are interested in commenting below uh, on a suggestion, that'd be great for a character and for an actor to play that character. Uh, today, we're going to look at Henry Cavill as Gideon. And spoiler alert, in case you don't know the lore from War of the Spark, which is a uh, over a year old now, so I think I'm, I'm fair to say that Gideon, unfortunately, is no longer with us as a planeswalker uh, He in in the, the war. He passed away during the, the War of the Spark, uh, heroically giving his life, and I hope that's not too soon, but he, I think, is epitomized really well by the other sorts of characters that Henry Cavill has played. Uh, I mostly know Henry Cavill as Superman from the DC Extended Universe, or Cinematic Universe, and uh, today we're gonna just gonna we're gonna draw him. So I found in my previous videos of drawing portraits that when it came to drawing the face, uh, I ran out of time because I spent a lot of time on the eyes. So I'm gonna be working from the eyes. The eyes are already finished. I'm gonna be working on the rest of the picture. So I've got an image of Henry Cavill here, and we're gonna we're gonna Gideonify him by the end. That might not happen in this video, but we're going to add all of the, the different uh, facial hair and, and the longer hair as well when the time comes. So the big thing about Henry Cavill is that he has got a very pronounced jaw and a very pronounced nose. And those, I think, really kind of make him stand out as being that super sort of character, that superhero that he is. So looking at the shading around, in particular, the jaw and uh, the nose is going to be our, our main focus for today. So we see a lot of great shading around the cheekbones here and the jaw itself. And you've got this really great shadow beneath this chin and jaw. In fact, I'm noticing right now that his neck actually is further out than I had it. Uh, a lot of these heroic characters do have thicker necks. If you don't believe me, just look at any football, American football player and you'll see what I'm talking about. Oh my goodness, there, he, there we go. So he's got that incredible big bull neck and then he's got a very pronounced cheekbone as well. It kind of comes right down and it looks like he needs a bit of a shave as well. So we're going to add the stubble. I'm just shading it lightly in at the moment and the stubble itself will kind of add in. So we'll put the stubble... And you could just draw a bunch of dots for stubble, but that I think is a little bit too simplistic. Uh, the stubble actually is just, there's so much of it that it doesn't really portray well as just dots. Uh, we actually, we're gonna put in some shading and then just a few dots kind of over top of that shading to make it stand out. Because Gideon does have that kind of, you know, unshaven look. And I chose this picture on purpose because it does have a lot of that, that, wonderful facial hair, just that, that scruffiness to him. And then we're going to be adding in more of that scruffiness at the end as well, if we have time. So we've got that great shadow beneath the chin and jaw, and maybe even just a little more jaw there. And that is looking like, my goodness, that is chiseled right there. Okay, so we're going to draw in some more over here and then the nose same sort of thing it's just shading we're looking for where it's dark and where it's light so you've got some shading on the sides of the nose on both sides so in the picture i'm using he's outside so there might be multiple light sources as well which is part of what's making that a little more challenging but we'll make it work we'll make it work lots of shading around the eyes you must have a pretty pretty decently large brow ridge as well. Uh, sorry if I knocked the camera there just now. Kind of going back and forth a little bit here. So you've got this edge of the ocular cavity and then the shading right below it as well. And that is what really uh, kind of emphasizes the bridge of the nose. 
the shading around the nose is what is what gives the bridge its lightness. So I'm not going to touch that middle area very much at all. It's got a bit of a nubby bit of the nose here, and some shading on the opposite side of the alum or ala, which of course is the nose wing you might know from our nose drawing video. And as you can see, Gideon slash Henry Cavill is coming along really nicely. So you're going to get some shading just in the eye here as well. Super light. We can still see where the eyelid overlaps here. So I don't want to lose that line that I had, but it is darker in here and on the edge. You often get some shading that kind of curves from the corner of the eye up to the eyebrow. And you can kind of just make that out in the picture. I'll see if I can zoom in a bit more here. Right there. Oop, right there. Okay. One thing I need to get used to is the fact that I've tried, kind of tilted my camera down more than usual. Uh, sometimes I find myself drawing off the page. So I try and keep the su subject now a little bit uh, lower than than usual and that way I, I find I don't run into the problem of, of uh, drawing where you can't see <laughs> which I'm sure is awfully frustrating when I'm trying to describe something so again you've got the, the I guess it's a dimple over here but you've got some great shading kind of coming up from the dimple as well in this area and once you've got the shading kind of to your liking in pencil, we're going to switch over to our blending stomp at that point. So you've got the shading here, you've got a little bit of a cheekbone showing, and then you've got very slight kind of dimple in here or curve. And you actually don't see it on this side at all. Uh, lips, the upper lip tends to be a little bit darker than the lower lip. And that just has to do with where the light's coming from. So we're going to draw that one in there. And I think I had two lower lips at one point. Sorry. And then you get a bit of reflection. So, <clears throat> excuse me, you end up with kind of dark top and bottom of the lower lip and then a light kind of in the middle. Very subtle though. It's not like we're drawing uh, or drawing lipstick on the on the person. That's when you tend to get more of that reflective quality. So I'm going to do darker on top, darker on the bottom. And very subtle. We don't want to overemphasize the lips unless the character has, you know, like I said, lipstick on or some sort of some sort of different shape or, or made the lights hitting it in a certain way but generally speaking you don't tend to get a lot of emphasis on the male lips and you're gonna I'm gonna switch you to the blending stomp which is that rolled paper into a stump and I'm just gonna get rid of my guideline on the chin before I do that it's always good to get rid of your guidelines before doing any shading and that just saves you a whole heap of trouble in the long run Okay, and then you've got a little bit of shading here, and then you've got a stubble on the lower, lower kind of chin area there. Okay, so already the shading just kind of gives more depth, more of a sense of, of, of roundness and, and three-dimensionality to our character here. And again, the bunny song's nice because it's very subtle. Uh, it's hard to achieve this same level of shading with your your pencil or trying to shade with your your finger um, the point makes it so much easier to get a little hard to reach areas too so i think as as a heroic looking character goes so far so good we're nearing 10 minutes uh, so i'm going to stop there for today i hope you enjoyed that uh, little look at gideon's drawing uh, i'm going to post a picture of how it turns out in the end right here and if you did enjoy the video, please feel free to give it a like, share it if you think other people would enjoy it and maybe would have suggestions for other planeswalkers or uh, legendary creatures that I can draw in the future. 
for fan casting and have yourself a fantastic day. Bye-bye now.